All right, so International Day of Radiant Peace is observed on September 22nd annually. It is a day where we get to spread awareness about radiant peace and promote peace projects around the world. I mean, yesterday was International World, I mean, it was World Peace Day. So today is Radiant Peace. <laughs> Let the peace be radiating. Double peace. <laughs> no, there are some pieces that are not Double radiant. Peace. That's what they're telling you. Know, you. Um, I, I, I think I was watching... Um, the news today mm. and former president Abdul Salami, I think he is the president of the what was the committee now? The ones that call political leaders to come sign peace, uh, peace pact mm -hmm. before an election. So the APC national chairman was there at his house. So he's saying that before the general elections, they should at least sign it twice. So they have to sign it two times. It's not just sign once. You <laughs> sign and double sign, you know, before double the general down election. On the so just to guarantee that, you know, whatever the outcomes, you will not incite, you know, any form of war and all of that. Mm. Peace, I, I don't know. With what is going on, and in fact, that's why I even want us to have this conversation. With what is going on, is it possible for, re for us to actually have peace? Because what I, what I listened to in those videos were really troubling. Mm. Very troubling yes. for me. I don't know about you guys. But let's quickly um, go through what our news is, then we can then come back to our conversation for today. Alaydi, I think you're ready. Yes, I am. Because <laughs> I want to get it over with. Okay, so we have news about a pastor who had apparently written dot checks and they now have imprisoned him. Let me just give you a brief. They say, Justice Oluwa Tohi Taiwo of the Special Offenses Court sitting in the Keja, Lagos, has convicted and sentenced a pastor, Ayodeji Ibrahim Oluoku, to two years in prison. The assistant pastor of the redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG. Why are you now elevating No, your city voice? of David <laughs> Parish for emphasis. <laughs> Victoria Island was jailed on Tuesday, September 21, 2022. Oluokun's conviction came consequent on his arraignment by the Lagos Zonal Command of EFCC alongside his company, Peak Petroleum Industry Nigeria Limited, on an amended six-count charge bordering on insurance of dot checks, stealing and obtaining by false pretense to the tune of one point. Okay, suppose so go prison. I think in Anaira before. To the tune of $1.6 million on January 19, 2019. Let me leave it at that. Mm. At first, I thought it was Naira. Mm. So I was saying that, uh -uh, dot checks, bouncing checks. Mm. We know about it and we know when they started putting it into the law. And if you write checks and you know that, you don't write a check. That yeah, contact is next to you. She would answer yeah, so you. you would tell me about the law. I remember I used to be a banker back in the day, over two decades ago. And people used to bounce checks anyhow. Then later on, I think they adjusted the laws and the rules saying, if you write a check mm. and it does not go through, there's trouble. Yes. And so you should be very careful. You either post date it yes. for the funds you think you're expecting or don't bother writing it at all and don't close any business deals or funds you can't guarantee are there. And what they said he did was he claimed that he was expecting money. But the money he was expecting hadn't come, but you did it twice. Hmm. So ignorance is not going to get you anywhere. Hmm. It seems that you were knowingly fraudulent about the fees or the uh, amounts of money. At first I was saying when I brought it up as what's in the news, that I don't think the, the punishment was commensurate with the crime, that I felt that maybe they should have found something else, you know, pay penance to whoever was affected or whatever. There's no need wasting taxpayers' money accommodating and feeding yet another prisoner yeah. when there's many criminal laws or broken laws and criminals that have been convicted or should be convicted yeah. that you could be using the, those same funds in imprisoning, not this guy. But seeing that it is dollars, please. <laughs> there's no radiant piece about it. <laughs> Let me quickly uh, get Glory's take on, on, on this quickly. Obviously, so there is no way before you are presenting mm. a check, you need to be sure about what you have in your account. Mm. So for the fact that, and I don't think in ignorance is an excuse in this day and age mm -hmm. when presenting a check, it's something which um, the law frowns against. Mm -hmm. And so I think he being ignorant is not an excuse. Mm. Absolutely. Let me quickly tie up um, my story because it's in line with all this conviction and mm. it was lighted that shared it. Just, <laughs> let me just let you people know. <laughs> but I just love I quickly changed my story quickly. Really? Yes. I, I forgot that you had another one before. You know, so China former Minister of Justice sentenced to death 
mm. for taking bribes mm -hmm. worth 16 million dollars now the former justice had been sentenced so he will be reprieved in jail for two years before they will carry out the death sentence right he's 67 years old he was found guilty and what they said was that in the time of his service as minister right justice minister mm -hmm. between march 2018 and april 2020 he was accused of taking advantage of his position mm -hmm. so between 20, 2005 and 2021 mm -hmm. including accepting bribe totaling the sum of 117 million um, yen um, and yeah. which which yeah. is if you yeah. convert yeah. it yen it converts to about 16.7 million dollars um, and bending the law mm -hmm. for personal gains and according to the report the court stripped full of his political rights Mm -hmm. uh, for life and confiscated all his property, mm -hmm. uh, personal property. So after his two-year reprieve, uh, for um, then they will carry out the death sentence. Yep. My sister, my brother. We want this in Nigeria. Uh, when I say this, I say Jesus. This is what we're talking about for two days. We use about, him as a point of contact we, for Nigeria. That what <laughs> God for our may China may have people that steal money from us. Also, <laughs> let Father, we want to receive. <laughs> that kind of consequence. Because, like, I mean, even so, you see that sometimes mm. when you were talking about, and that was where I was trying to tell you that this is not issue of humanity. Mm. Because let me tell you something: if it is, if we live right doing for jo uh, for conscience, come mm. on, we're not going go anywhere. But if you just put law, you know, say you do, you die. You do, you die. Do you understand? You that is what happened, and this is why impunity and lawlessness cannot, even if it is there. It, it will be very minimal. Thank you. Yes. It is not the way we see it. I mean, it make yeah. the news in such a major way because it's not the norm. It's not the norm. Yeah, it's the norm. It's the opposite. Yeah. Mm. You know, so for them to not leave you people. No, don't leave us. I've said, don't leave. Let us start listing the people that we feel should be investigated. Ah, ah, ah. Like they don't be me and you. They will go and let me hear your story. The whole of Nigeria will I'm telling you. No, anyway. You know, don't say make a apply wisdom when Please I Please let us talk. Looks like what we are saying Glorious. today is um, um, tied to something monetary. So, so <laughs> in mine, I, um, a social media post shows a notice by Surulere local government in Lagos reintroducing radio and television licenses oh. to drive in the council's internally generated revenue. It's short and straight to the point. So I would say, ha, you don't read. You don't, you know <laughs> Everybody's looking for money. Now. Nothing irritates the life out of me. Mm. Some stores, some businesses don't have radio or television. Mm. Why are you charging them for radio and TV license? Oh, they do it abroad. Mm. Every yeah, household is charged for TV. Even if you are watching on your phone mm. and you don't have a TV, every household is giving the TV license. They assume you have a tele. That's if so you have nice. a box that is in your garage, that is not plugged anywhere. These people, the problem I have with them is that copy paste. Mm. They just yeah, see laws crazy. abroad. They, they don't just, analyze whether it applies to us or not. They start trying to make it seem like they're doing something. Mm. Waiting concern radio and it is where no more finger. I don't know if this is a lighter note. Okay. <laughs> well, you're, you're it has to do with animals. So oh, maybe, okay. Yes, but uh, it's a sad one because uh, recently 200 whales were found dead mm. on um, the shores of an Australian beach. So the story has it that around 200 whales have died and just 35 wow. remain alive following a mass stranding in Australia this week. And... Um, these pilot whales were found and exposed on the coast of Tasmania. Mm. And rescue efforts are ongoing, but a lot of them have died. Mm. And uh, Brendan Clark, who is the Tasmanian uh, Parks and Wildlife Service chief, gave a report that they're conscious in his speech. He said that they're conscious that some of them may re-beach themselves. So sometimes they push them in and they sort of find their way, find back, their to way shore. back to shore so mm. it's really been this is like the second mass stranding that is taking place this week and uh, a dozen of them mostly young males were believed to be part of a bachelor pod mm. but they were all found dead about 35 have been rescued and they tried to push them in and this uh, 200 whales. This is the se uh, the first largest experience of this was in 2020, mm. when about 450 of these whales were stranded. 
Oh, wow. Okay, so when you say stranded, sorry, I'm just trying to... Yeah, because they, they can't they swim to... on the beach side. So what, somehow so they found themselves this in low shallow depth. waters. And I think it, it, we can also tie it, it might to be the, pushing back the, the land reclamation, the whole climate change, and all of the activity, man-made activities yes. that are just changing things. So the so. way they would normally flow, they're finding themselves in the opposite in the direction. Waters. Okay. Mm. So mm. it's a I think one, land reclamation well, is, is, may is be there part no of solution it. to this? I'm just thinking in my and head. Well, when we so stop. almost like creating a barricade. I don't where know, they can't come, where they any, can't come yes. any closer and they to the stay sand. within uh, that. I'm sure they are on top of the... This Marine is, this scientists may advise against it. Like, you know, have people monitoring this um, show. Mm -hmm. But this one is a huge It's alarm. major. It's a major alarm. Just mm -hmm. But you know that even if you something. put barricades, when they're coming in mass they like this, break they can break it. Mm -hmm. And these are whales. We're not talking about just small fishes. Let me know, and them. We don't get away so like that. Know, <laughs> no, you can't. know, time goes say they yeah, cover and cloth, they pour water. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? There's there was, was, there's there's time to see there was a time that, that a whale actually found his way. It was not a cutting of the sea part. We don't understand the endangered species in Nigeria. Humanity. Alligator, come, they cut. Snake, come, they cut. Mommy, what happened? They cut. The first day I saw a snake being roasted. It was a root culture shock for me. Yeah, when I went to university, when I saw you know, university oh. python. Yeah. So they had killed the python, they beheaded it, and it was a big um, um, bowl. Bonfire. Um, no, big um, bath. You okay. know, this big basin. Yes. So they had wrapped the python before you know anything. They roasted the thing and you think it's fish. My mom said she's eaten snake before that. It's, it's like fish, yeah. fish yes. and, and chicken. No, no. Yes, it's like fish. I don't and even want to find so it. Get on, I, I have a friend who so. actually <laughs> grills them for parties. Is a major in Nigeria now. They bring it, the alligator on the train and everything. So one day it was like, I'm going to gift you. I said, Go I've punish tested, you. No, 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 but I've tasted crocodile. <laughs> crocodile taste tastes like, like um, chicken. Anything mm. outside of fish. And I'm chicken. not there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, let's take a break. Let's discuss our serious matter today. Stay with us. <laughs> we'll be right back.